Yo, welcome to this video where I wanted to talk about a ninja change that occurred this week. Wasn't in the patch notes. Uh, it seems that they corrected one of the sets that didn't work as intended on week one. Uh, I think you know that set, like Green Carver Blaze. We, I guess, have all been hyped by this set when it got released, you know. We are like, oh my god, it's gonna be so strong on DK and on Necro, but sadly it was really bad because back in the day it was only working on one tick of every dot. So for example, you would go on a dummy, you would use Siphon, and you would get only one proc out of Rune Carver. However, what they changed this week is that, as you can see, I'm proking Siphon right now. And you can see the proking on the dummy. The flame effect. Siphon is not a normal dot, it's ticking twice per second, so basically every 1.5 seconds we get the uh, Rune Carver proc. As you can see, I got 10 procs for 30 Siphon ticks. I don't need to explain you how strong it is on Necro and especially on DK because you know DK has. Uh, burning passives and rune cover is proking burning every every damage ticks. It allows you to stack dots and get a really really good result out of it. I did some testing with uh, principally stamina necromancer and you can see it worked kinda well. The rune cover is always consistently like 12 to 13 percent of your damage which is quite a bit higher than pillar of Nirn. It cannot be backbarred though, which is actually a big issue because it forces you to like remove a bunch of other options. You cannot use Zan, etc. I need to use a RNA weapon. And the uh, front barrier relic one is always worse than the current options, which is pretty much the big issue with that set. The fact that it needs to be bodied and it's the light armor set with offensive penetration lines, so you lose quite a bunch of stats. But. Overall, it kind of makes up for it greatly. You get so many procs on the dot necro, and uh, on, on DK you will not get that many procs, but you know DK has a passive that increases burning damage, so burning will be like on top almost of your damage, almost more than whip. This is a parse from two weeks ago, and you can see the damage of my pillar of Nirn and my burning right there, with the initial hit of pillar, versus what you can get now. With rune carvers, this difference is kinda huge. You lose Zan and quite a lot of stats because you need to body it, etc. But it's still like really, really strong. And I can't wait to test it on every classes. Mm. That was just a quick video to inform you about this ninja change that we just found out and we are all really hyped about it. I'm gonna try everything and try to post as many videos as possible before the patch goes live. Uh, thanks a lot for watching and see ya.